Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews, back at you today with another one. What I'm looking at is a beer from Treehouse Brewing Company out of Charlton, Massachusetts. This is the King Cobbler. It is a double IPA clocking in at 8.4% alcohol by volume. It says on the label about this beer that King Cobbler is King Julius, which is another beer from them, uh, that is steeped in organic or on organic freeze-dried peaches. Since King Julius is full of citrus and mango flavors on its own, we thought that peach would be the perfect complement to this flavor profile. La -da 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 okay. Um, this beer was canned on December 16th, so it's just over a month old. Pretty dang fresh. As with all of the beers that I get from Treehouse, Never had it, looking forward to trying it. So let's go ahead and pour it up and see what we're working with. Definitely looks nice and juicy, as with all of these Treehouse IPAs. So the color is like a deep orange head, off-white, fingers worth, kind of a creamy looking, uh, appearance to the head. It is opaque, cannot see through it. I'm already getting the peach aromas on the nose. Yeah, nice peach aroma. Some mango, pineapple, lots of tropical fruit action, a little bit of wheat malt. None of the alcohol is coming through, but yeah, peach and tropical fruit. Lead aromas. It smells really nice. I am salivating, so without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is, <laughs> that is really nice. So the peach is actually the first thing that I'm picking up on. Let me get some mango, get some pineapple. Nice little bit of bready malt note in the middle of the sip, but this is super juice forward. It's medium bodied, medium carbonation. None of the alcohol is coming through throughout the palate. It's not warming going down, so it, it doesn't drink at all like an 8.4 percenter. Oh, wow. Super, super juicy. Very nice. There's almost a little bit of a guava note in there as well, which I do get with a lot of Treehouse IPAs from whatever they're hop profiles are, whatever hops they're using in a lot of their IPAs, uh, they must use similar hops in a lot of them because guava seems to be a prevalent uh, flavor and aroma in a lot of their double IPAs. So a little bit of that guava, but the peach is really the star of the show with this. I think it complements the other fruit flavors nicely. It's nice and juicy all the way through, not really drying on the finish. It drinks like juice pretty much throughout. The hops do provide not really much bitterness at all. Just, I don't know, if I had to guess, I would say the IBUs are like between 10 and 20. Very low bitterness, but there's just, you know, a smidge on the back end to let you know that you're drinking a beer and you're not just drinking juice because this is a juicy, juicy beer in the best way possible. That carbonation is, is high medium, actually, because I haven't had anything else to drink and I'm getting... A lot of gas, a lot of gaseous uh, response from those first few sips. Um, yeah, this is nice. I'm going to go with a pretty high score on this. I'm going to get it, give it another sip, and then I'll give you guys a rating. Mm. It's almost got like a peach creamsicle type thing going on with it. It's really, really nice. It's interesting that they use freed, freeze dried peaches. It's almost like it concentrates the flavor a little bit more in the brewing process or something. But yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of peach flavor going on. Really nice stuff. Um, I'm gonna go with a 97 out of 100. This is bordering on world class. It's definitely an outstanding beer from Treehouse. The alcohol is mass well. The body is nice and soft and it's juicy all the way through. Um, just a very, very mild bitterness. 
on the back end, but super juicy, fresh and fruity, sweet, nice little bready malt nut in the middle of the sip as well. I mean, everything that you could possibly want from a juicy IPA. Um, so there you go. For the King Cobbler from Treehouse Brewing Company, going with a 97 out of 100. If you can get it, buy it, try it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.